Greetings everyone, I'm Miss Rachel Okonkwo, aka Nkolin Wansuka, Ugoman Dibo, Ibolicious Babe, Swagadi Niana Bonana. Harry B, Anyangu. My name is Ezene Mekachas, Manny Boy. Junior Pope of Umbebe Ojowodo. Hey guys, this is your girl Mary Igwe, Nollywood actress, you already know that. Now your boy, Kenneth Sugo, Nollywood actress. Afambo, my colleagues, Chidebe, Mr. China. My name is Kaz Chidebe, aka Nonso Parara, or anything you can call me. Hey, go ahead and call me 042 Apasino. I go like him. Iba nye kene muno. Afa move ozi eji ofa. Adana ofeja jie muno. Adana be for chiezi ya ego gada sisi ya. My name is Eve Essen, as you already know, Nollywood actor. My name is Sami Ajufo. My name is Jude Thomas Dawam. I'm from Okmata Inuzuwani, local government, Enugu State. I am proud of Enugu. I am proud of my state. I am proud of everything we do here. Originally from Enugu State, but I was born and raised in Enugu. I am from Enugu State, or by Nuden local government to be precise. So you can call me Wansuka. And I hail from Ukehe, Usuka, Enugu State. I am from Anambra State, Oka precisely. But hey, I have a moment for two, to full blooded one now. What do you have? I am from Plateau State. I came uh, to Enugu a while ago just to come and uh, make money. I'm from Delta State. And even if I'm from the Igbo speaking part of Delta, I can't speak Igbo. I want to officially welcome you to Enugu State. One God, one people, one love. I love Enugu. And um, you can't blame me for it, certainly not. For so many reasons, anybody who is an Igbo man traveled from any part of the world, the moment you set your foot on soil in Enugu, you are home. Why? Enugu is the capital of Igbo land. It has remained like that for years. Enugu is special. Yes, it's a special state. We have done a lot and we are still doing a lot to be one of the best states in Nigeria. And let me even say in Africa, of course. Enugu state is beautiful. A state where you find people who are with sanity, not insanity. You know, a state where there's no bara bara guru guru. That's so, ah, my friend, you, ah, I will bite you, I will kick you, I go pick your pockets. If they walk out for road, people will say, Oh, Enugu is so peaceful, Enugu is so lovely. Today, Enugu State in, is known for peace. This is a very peaceful state, very accommodating, very welcoming state. This is a place to do movies, this is a place to do business, this is a place to raise family, this is a place to do virtually everything. Trust me, Enugu is a place to be. Enugu is a very clean city, Enugu is safe. Enugu is fine, Enugu is secure. If I just say that if I don't want to idea, but I'm not a Muslim, Enugu or Sanata, I'm not a Igbo. We're well into my life. I'm browsing the water, but Enugu is my own way of number. Enugu is my limo. Enugu is my radio. Enugu is my reboni. Enugu is my cool Enugu. I'm going to go to 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 Enugu. I'm going to go I am a father of two. Enugu State is a state where you can raise your kids and instill, instill in them morals. Enugu State encourages education. We are very hard working people. We are responsible people. And most importantly, Enugu State is in the hands of God. All right, I've had a lot of people accuse me. I was preferring Enugu to my home state of Anambra. And each time they say it, I laugh. But I'll give you the reason straight away. On the 7th of March, 1947, I was born here in Enugu at number 22 Church Road, Asata, near St. Bart's. So if you look at it properly, number one, Emrum Nawa, that's one. Number two, Enugu Nubai Babu, right? So how was the experiment to say it? Because I don't say it all the time, no. A state where you come and you will not know that you are a stranger. The only state that accommodates everyone as if we are one. I will tell you why I am raising my family here. Why my businesses, all my businesses are in Enugu. 
My business is thriving in Enugu because this is a place where civil servants are well taken care of from payment of salaries. And when the civil servants are happy, when they are well taken care of, business is thrive because they have money to patronize the traders. This is a state that the traders are empowered monthly so that they can boost their business and move forward. Enugu is like the hub of Eastern region. It doesn't matter where you come from, you are welcome. It's a state that has this hospitality and it is unprecedented. A beautiful state. When you talk about security, people go about their businesses freely, no traffic, everything moving on smooth. When I came here, the first thing that struck me was the fact that the, the town was very peaceful and because it's peaceful, now when you relate that to where I'm coming from, you can actually understand what I'm saying. Enugu is almost like Abuja. Peaceful, quiet, serene, life is easy. So I started work here and um, before I knew it, I got married here. This is one of the best cities I've filmed in this country. I don't know what it is, but there's this feeling I always have whenever I'm doing a movie in Enugu. It's the calm nature, the aesthetics, the beauty, the security. From anywhere, you can come here and chill. It's a very peaceful place for everyone. White man from America, from London, you can come here, relax here and have fun. We are peace-loving people. If you look at all the developments that have been recorded in Enugu, you will know why a lot of people who come into Enugu are not in a hurry to leave Enugu. I am a movie maker. Now I tell you that why we choose Enugu as a favorite location, place for our location, is because of the peaceful nature of Enugu states. You know, you know what I mean? So if you come to where they say, you know, they get headache, you know, they stay, of course you will stay now. Abdiani hana po mepu budu. Negeli na nyana kemal. Kemal iye na tomo tomo ubuda. Galo po bu na me yelo ofu. Me anya. Omo na aboni po ya ziafia. Makana uche ha de wagia da 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 da. Ana reche telo fa ifafa na me me. Time I'm being called upon to come here to do a job like. I practically leap in my heart. I'm like, okay, it's time to go have fun because it's, it's one state where everyone just comes to and you have peace of mind. There's good food, road networking, everything. Everyone is accommodating. There's no discrimination. I like, in fact, if you come to Enugu State, you wouldn't even want to go away. Like most times I come to Enugu State, I stay, I finish the job and I just keep staying and staying and give myself like two, three days before I go out of Enugu State. You can go anywhere, any day, any time without having any shoes. There is security everywhere. His Excellency, Ifan Yugwani, is the reason for all of this. God has maintained peace in Enugu with the help of our governor. His Excellency Ifani Chuku Lawrence Uwanyi Moke Bonana. This is the only state that has been recorded as the state that during the election there was no violence. Why? Because of the inspirational leadership of Right Honorable Ifani Uwanyi, a state that is accommodating, peaceful, beautiful, clean. Why is it that every weekend people flock in to come and have fun? because of the peace, serenity, and calmness of the state. You see, before the governor assumed office, he had spent a long period of apprenticeship in the House of Reps. And that equipped him for the challenges of the office. He had a very clear vision of what his responsibilities are and what the office of governor demands. Knowing the political complexion of Enugu, he evolved a profound philosophy of tolerance anchored on altruism. Aside from the fact that Enugu state is the, the, the capital of the old eastern region, Enugu state is also the state where other governors need to come and learn how to keep their promises campaign promises. Now Enugu State has been blessed with right honorable Ifai Uguay Buruburu. So I want to say good looking out to the governor of the state, the fact that peace is still here. I want to say good looking out because it's just, look at this light, the street lights, you can count them from here 
down there. The whole city is covered with it. So I want to say good looking out to the people of Enugu State. And if you're coming to Enugu State and if you are not prepared to keep the peace, please go back. Because that's one thing that we pride ourselves with. I want to appreciate Enugu for what it's done for me. It's a place I call home. It's a place I've started my own business. And it's a place that I feel a lot of people should come to. Everybody knows about Enugu. Everybody loves the city on a hill. And everybody also appreciates the kind of leadership we have in this state. And I want to appreciate the governor. I want to appreciate him very well. I've met him on a few occasions. Really cerebral guy. The man knows his onions. And he has a good heart for the people. And the people also have a good heart for the governor. Currently, the governor of Enugu State is opening the rural areas, the heat talents, so that they can have access to the urban areas. And the essence is to decongest the urban areas, open up the rural areas. It is not all the time that you find a governor who reacts promptly when people suffer such distress. By the way, Aliba Transekuru, on the 30th of December, a tanker caught fire on one of the streets in Transekulu. A lot of people suffered damages. By the 1st of January, just two days after, all the people have been compensated by the governor. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. But you see, there is one problem that we have as a people. If you honor your commitments without blowing your trumpet, you're very likely to be taken for granted. People in Enugu State get their salaries as and when due. And in December, they get paid twice. Enugu State is really in the hands of God. God is walking through Everywhere was Salah, security, boy, you never go and go. We are not a new state. Guru, I can't drink. Eh? Can you not go? Can you not go? Who can you 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 relate with everybody? Eh? But some friends are so kind like this. So I see, governor, all the free with everybody. Did they kid? It's a move. <laughs> Indeed, governance is for the people, and I have seen this with my eyes. And I indulge and implore every other governor in this country to emulate what Buruburu is doing here. Indeed, Enugu is in the hands of God. Buruburu, GCK. He is a God fearing man, also very, very humble. Thank you very much. His Excellency, Right Honorable Ifan Shkugwan, is also Ntiinege Zulum. A very big thank you to the Governor of Enugu State, His Excellency Dr. Ifan Shkugwan. Thank you very much, sir, for making Enugu a conducive place to be. I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing with um, Enugu. And we pray for the Almighty God to bless and continue to keep you while you continue to do more. God bless you, sir. I want to tell our visitors, when you get to a place that enjoys peace, please embrace that peace. When you get to a place that you enjoy security, please don't disturb the security. We want everybody to come. You'll be welcome. You'll be accommodated. But please maintain peace and absolute serenity that we're enjoying in Enugu. Right, Honorable Fine Wine, you have done well. But they say that to whom much is being much is expected. We are expecting you to do more. We are proud of you. You have made us proud Enugu Indigenous. This is for you, Governor. Thank you very much. We have seen your good works, the peaceful nature of the state, your good road networking, serene, beautiful, clean environment, accommodating spirit of all the people of Enugu State. Governor, this is to say thank you. Thank you very much. We appreciate you. And we pray that the good Lord will continue to guide you to do more for your people we love you god bless you thank you for accepting those of us movie people into enugu state thank you very much sir god bless you Mwah. now it's late in the night i'm going to drive home and i'm going to go home safe i can leave the office at 1 a.m and i'll drive home 
and I'll get home safely. I don't need to be scared of whether someone is going to stop me on the way. Now, he mentioned something, oh, I remember the, our first meeting with him, he said, the reason I make sure I pay salaries every month is because when you pay parents, they give their children school fees, the children go to school, they don't have time to indulge in nasty things. Which of course, if you do it socially, that's the basic thing. When the parents are comfortable, the children will be comfortable too. So I invite you to my city. I call it my city now. I invite you to the coal city, 042 Enugu, where the city, like the governor says, is in the hands of God. It just rained. We don't have floods in Enugu. That's one thing we're proud of as well, because the drainages are just amazing. So thank you, as I look forward to meeting with you in the coal city. Once again, my name is Jude Thomas Dawam. I'm a proud 042 boy. Peace. Enugu enjoys peace. Incredible peace. Unique peace. I have watched several governments in the state and all the governors have all left their legacies. I must admit that. But none till date has succeeded in creating the kind of peace that Enugu now enjoys. And I think this is attributable to the philosophy of the person who is at the head of affairs. He believes that every individual has a right to stay in any group and express their opinion. And this is why the moment people come into any group, they are not in a hurry to go back. Congratulations, Your Excellency. Thank you so much, sir, for making this place so beautiful, making it peaceful. I can walk around any time of the day. I'm not scared. You know why? Security, the tides. Let's speak, Liqui. So, I applaud you, sir. May God keep you. May God bless you. May God continue to guide your footsteps. Because anywhere I go, I'm proud of Enugu. And a lot of people are very, very happy with the work you're doing. Oya, sir, sir, jide ko jine, me do. Enugu obode jemonu obodo marama enweri hu nanya nudo obodo di chuku nobio enugu o enugu o mburu mburu e